work and witness. When we do the work of the Lord, we never know 100% of God's plan. We don't know where he wants to take us or what situations he wants to put us in. We just know that he's with us every step of the way, no matter what trials and tribulations are waiting for us. And now behold, I am going to Jerusalem, constrained by the Spirit, not knowing what will happen to me there, except that the Holy Spirit testifies, for, testifies to me in every city that imprisonment and afflictions await me. And we wouldn't have to worry about the trials and tribulations if our main focus in life was to do what God has called us to do. We don't even have to worry about our lives if we give 100% to the work of the Lord. So no matter what comes our way, our main focus should be to do what he has called us to do. But I do not count my life of any value nor precious to myself if only I may finish the course and the ministry that I have received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. While we were staying for many days, a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea, and coming to us, he took Paul's belt and bound his own feet and hands and said, Thus says the Holy Spirit, This is how the Jews at Jerusalem will bind, will bind the man who owns this belt and deliver him to the hands of the Gentiles. When we heard this, we and the people there urged him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What are you doing, weeping and breaking my heart? For I am ready not only to be in prison, but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. God has called us all to witness in some kind of way. It's part of our work that we do for the Lord. And it's our job to take every chance that we have to do so. You don't want to be responsible for anyone that goes to hell. We can't send anyone to hell, but we're held responsible for the souls that we don't witness to. You know when people say, when you see someone doing something wrong and you don't at least try to correct them, you're just as guilty as they are for their wrongdoing. Well, it's the same way when it comes to witnessing. So don't miss the chance to tell someone how Jesus died for our sins. Therefore, I testify to you this day, I am innocent of the blood of all. I do not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God. Look out for one another spiritually because there's not a day when Satan and his angels aren't attacking. We have to stay in the word and know for ourselves what it says and means. Because people are taking advantage of those who don't. And it's our jobs as Christians to do our best to lead them back to where they belong. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he, which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock. And from among your own selves will rise men speaking twisted things to draw away the disciples after them. Work and witness. When we're doing the work of the Lord, we should do the work of the Lord for the Lord. The Bible says we're called to his purpose, not ours. Not to receive money, worldly pleasures, or recognition. When you do, it becomes the work of yourself and not of the Lord. And all that you do, do for the Lord. Work and witness.